Hello, hello, folks, and welcome back to Demon Souls. It's been a few days since I played, and it's so nice coming back to it. It is so nice. Had to look into how much it was going to cost me to play Bloodbor Bloodborne eventually. It's like 500 quid. <laughs> it's, uh... A lot of that goes on the console. Then... A chunk of that goes on the capture card. Then... Um... Like, that brings me to like 4... F uh, like 15 off 500 or so. And so the rest will go on, um the game. Well, and it may actually take me just above 500, depending on how much the game costs. Uh, I really want to play it. I can just hope I can find some other games to justify purchasing a whole fucking console. One game alone is n not uh, a worthy purchase to make. Also, I forgot to kill the uh, Archdemon over here. Got a little excited at killing the old hero. Oh, I'll just hit the mic. I'm actually going to do a little grinding first. I think I've got a good target. I just don't know yet. I'm also nervous in trying to fight that. Uh, oh, actually... I'm a little nervous in trying to fight the boss. Then again, this... Yeah, no, this is a... There's too much of a pathway between here and there. No, it's not worth well. It's far too much of a pathway. Still, I'm this far. How much am I carrying? Hmm. Also, I actually need to go get my souls, don't I, Shed? Yeah, no, let's, let's not do this. This is a silly place. Basically, I was thinking that there was two Reapers here. A quick run back, kill the two Reapers, I'll make... Even off one of them more than I'll make off the other guy. But... Um... It's too risky. Oh, fair chance of me losing shit. Also, I looked something up. My soul... My, my player tendency... My... Um... Uh, my player tendency is actually still neutral. There's five things that can raise your tendency in the game. And in each area, there is a creature. There is a being. And that being can raise your soul tendency. Sorry, let me start this again. There's two ways to raise your soul tendency, your character tendency. Either defeat black phantom invaders that are players, or defeat five unique phantoms throughout the air, throughout the game. The only one that's accessible to me, given that I'm in offline mode, the servers are gone, is the second one, the five unique guys. Those five unique guys can only be accessed... I feel I bungled this explanation again. Let me start again. Okay, there's two ways to raise your character, like, to raise the world tendency, you defeat bosses, you defeat, um, bla uh, particular black phantoms, you, or black phantom inv uh, player invaders, I think, maybe, I can't remember, but if you want to raise your character's ten soul tendency, what, you have to either defeat player invaders, assist the player in killing player invaders, or defeat five unique black phantoms throughout the game. Only that latter one, those five unique black phantoms, are accessible to me. Those five unique phantoms spawn only in pure black worlds. You know the five NPCs exclusive to each area? Um, you, like, you know the prince here in the Voltarian Palace? Uh, the guy trapped in the Tower of Latria that I have yet to free? 
definitely him, the print, they, uh, the chick in the Valley of Defilement that I was mentioning, like, oh, here's where she must spawn, but she wasn't there at the time. They all invade as black phantoms in a pure black world. And then they try and attack you. If you defeat them, your character tendency goes up by 20%. The world also uh, goes up by 90%. Um, world tendency or something it goes up by a huge chunk so yeah so that's the only way to raise your character tendency and if your character tendency is high you get bonus health and damage in soul form but you get less health and damage in if it's negative if it's uh, bad soul tendency you can look it all up online. But do keep in mind, the only way to raise it is true, uh, in like in the original game, is by way of um, those five black phantoms. Since there's no way to play with other players. So let's get back here and try not die. Hey, uh, folks. One, two, three. Let us continue. Do, 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 do. Not sure how to do and with those dogs in there. I feel like I should be able to kill them. I didn't start the fire. It's been burning since the world's been turning. <sighs> oh, uh, the ma damage buff on this goes up if you raise... Oh, there's a place back in 1-1 one one I can open now with the keys, probably. Um, the, damage on that go the damage bonus on that goes up if you upgrade it. Oh, these fire, fire pretty straight for a long time. So it seems offside right now. They have some issues padding sometimes, walking diagonally in the swamp, just running around the place like a lunatic. I would like to go and kill that black phantom in the swamp at some point. Oh god, imagine fighting the NPC black phantom. I suppose the only boon there is that she invades with a theoretical uh, safe spot. Oh, damn, no souls. Uh, uh, heal the item. Ah, oh, it's not there. Ooh. Seriously, no items? I need to get the long sword of searching. The curved sword of searching. Uh, I should also get the blue blood's blade. It scales quite well off luck. Apparently it scales really weirdly. The more luck you have, the more it scales. Uh, the more luck you have, the, mo the better it scales. Uh, there's that scale. It's weird. Apparently, that's what the wiki said. Uh, you know, remember the broken bo broken sword I got? Yeah, you make it via. Uh... Oh, I forgot about you. Hmm. That posing looks familiar. Like how they stand, their movements. Hmm. But. Um... Yeah, the broken sword I found in the swamp. Yeah, it's made through that and the Saint Tess's soul. Oh, 
no loot. <sighs> oh, nice. Just him. Oh. Powder. Get some better grass, man. I got the premium stuff right here. Break it down. Secret throwing dagger, secret dagger. A short, uh, a unique short katana altered for throwing. Throw it horizontally in order to attack. Just me. An unbelievably evil looking weapon used by spies in service to the king. Mm. I need to up my strength more. Maybe my luck more, too. It would be nice to get more items. How about the uh My god. The uh sword made from the Saintist's soul does also magic and physical damage. And uh, I think it's a hundred of each a base. Or you know, however they do that to damage that out. It's one handed sword too, I think. But you could still just two handed. <laughs> We're all a bunch of crazy guys and dolls. Oh, Half and grass, still somewhat useful. Hmm. The uh, large engine charge isn't here. Du -du. Run away, run away. Oh, I forgot about you. Oh. So. Thank you for running into my sword a second time. Makes my life easier. Funk. Bonk. Bonk. Mm, I need to upgrade my health more. I think there's some people that really say, like, oh, you shouldn't upgrade vitality. So, like, why not? I like being a mini boss for the enemy. Boop, boop. I like pretending I'm that uh, scene from that one Spider-Man comic, um, where Punisher punches Peter. He's like, "I don't want to hurt you," and then punches Peter in the face, and he's like, "That's cute. That's you know, that's cute." So and so, um, I can't remember if he calls him by his name. I, I think he calls him Frankie. You know, that's cute, Frankie. But it's gonna take a lot more than you got. And it's it, it's it's just a great scene, and yeah, I, I like to replicate that. Three soldier scotuses, my god. I, I think I just killed a guy that went to a forest. Oops. Da -da 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 -da. Don't. 
They have difficulties taking corners. No one expects to strike true uh, wardrobe attack. I think that appeared a second before the, uh... Ooh! You fucker. Same guy that killed me last time. I was kind of expecting mentally for him to be still up there. Because he needed to kick the thing down. But the thing is pre-kicked. Eat. Shit. It's time to D&D. &D. Die and decompose. Regain your soul. Okay, there is a message here on my phone that I've been ignoring. Uh, let me pull back and uh, stop. It's nine seconds, but... Uh, I, who knows what will happen in those nine seconds. You have been invaded. From hell. Hey, folks, and I'm back. Three, four, five, six. I'm always paranoid with um, recording vid, uh, like listening to audio messages. That oh god, what if somehow my mic was still going, even though I paused it? I'm just infinitely paranoid. And just blame the OCD and move on. That's what I do. Interesting decor here. Like ah oh, yes. I always do enjoy getting rained on inside. Yeah, so follow me over here. I've got a van full of beer and rock tapes. I do find the videos funny of like the lollies kidnapping a guy. Well, not videos, but the um, images, pictures people have made. Various stories. Are very hard work. Oh, if your um, character's uh, soul rating gets to like 90% positive, you get um, the friend ring. Off the um, monumental, which probably helps you with um, you know doing you know jolly cooperation. <sighs> do, 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 do. I shouldn't do any more of that. I just suddenly came into my head and I had to hum it. Ah, oh, this is impressive. I'm so glad to finally play this game. I wish I'd come into it more blind. Same time, I'm kind of glad I didn't, because if you think about it, at this point, I would definitely be in pure black on like every world if I knew that dying in soul fo in body form cost you. Because the game never tells you that. Game never lets you know that dying in body form did that. Uh, some people have argued it's like the worst mechanic ever, but I actually, I actually quite enjoy character and world tendency. It does add a nice little flavor to it. The only issue I would levy towards it is it needed to be better signposted. Um, it needed to be better signposted and. <sighs> Like part of the issue of it is simply the servers have gone offline, so a big part of it has been blockaded off. If that was not the case, then it wouldn't be as bad. And I would enjoy if they did it again. Should have had a guy there to ambush. Doesn't really save you if I suddenly start shooting you, but if I suddenly put out, pull out a Glock 19, little will. Clock 19, is that the thing? 
Or am I combining two different guns? I think I'm thinking of a fucking 1911, which is different. Pay me no heed. I'm not a gun person. Die, fatass. Help! Help! The Soul Star soldiers are after me. In the name of all that is sacred, please open this gate. Oh Lord, hurry, please. They are almost upon me. Thank you for it. Now rescue me, please. Uh, there's more up there, jackass. I suppose it's a good thing you pulled back. And to be fair, that is a rough fight. It's two red knights and a generic dude. Oh, God, I'm glad you pulled back to over here. It's a nice little niche. You saved my life. Make this me a duke. is the third time I am truly indebted to you. This is all I have. But please accept it. Now, I must go. My father, the king, awaits me just over there. Pure clear stone. Not that. Oh, I wonder if he'll join me in the fight against him. That'd be cool. Though, there's... There's more than just him to fight, though. I didn't think we are going on to him just yet. I thought we were going on to someone else. There's uh, the blue dragon fight here, and then there's also the... Uh, wait. Princey. Aristocrat formerly known as Prince. Um, where have you gone? Oh, you patrolled away. My, my father's just over there. I must go to him. Run away. Uh, it's probably so you don't have to worry about protecting an NPC who could turn on you if you accidentally clip him too much. Um, eat shit. But it is just funny. But, um, I do kind of like the NPCs wandering around the world and being there. It is annoying that you can clip them. Which, in some ways, it was a toggleable thing. You could toggle it on or off, just so that they could wander around, but be less of a pain in the ass. I suppose it's not like the aggro with one swing, but accidents happen. And I w do wonder if it's damage based. If it's damage based, then that just means being stronger is a liability. But if it is hit based, like amount, then it's not too bad. I need to raise my stamina, man. Actually, I think my stamina is fine, it's just I don't have to regen. I'm wearing heavy armor, so it regen slowly. I'm just dancing around. My god, the amount of full moon grass they're giving me. I just got... I think I've got 20 by now, just from recent drops here. Detour, detour. Uh, the thing I've always found funny about these games is that your character was is really good at taking drops. Like, you can drop off a fair height and take very little damage. Meanwhile, you play Witcher. You again! Killed you so many times already. Um, you can drop... Um Oh, I had heard about the, the Tree Knights. Um, Princey? Shit. I can't lead them back to him. I don't have magic equipped. Um, yeah, but in Witcher, you can't drop off great heights. You're actually pretty vulnerable to that. I need to lead, go down and lead him back up. And hope Princey Boy doesn't come up. Yeah, you work that arm. Swing that sword a hundred times. 
but um, yeah, in Witcher, like you're playing, you know, superhuman soldier guy. He looked in Captain America, but magic instead of you know, you know, mad science. Um, Now, and back up. So you know, mad magic instead of mad science. Um, except he really can't take a fall. Like this is a game about fragility and the determination of the human spirit, and you know, camaraderie, and you know, badass mutant guy. Really can't take falls. Seriously, two swings and it's down? I figured these guys were the better poise. My god. But, um. Tree full of grass? My fucking god. But, um, yeah, it, it always puzzled me how Garrett really can't take drops and falls. Meanwhile, this game that pushes, like, a very vulnerable feeling, you can. Like, it's kind of silly to me. I, get, I, know, get, I know, different games, different, like, design things, but if you just view it as in a, like, you're, you're relatively, like, you start off as a mundane person, and you can achieve incredible heights. But you're still like mortal man with just an undying will that can bring down the gods themselves. You throw yourself at that threat till you learn how they think, how they work, and you bring them low. It doesn't matter if they're the gods themselves, you bring them down. It's the uh, undi unconquerable human will. Uh, as m turned into a weapon. It's a beautiful thing. And badass mutant guys are like, I twipped, I died, boom! It's really funny to me. It's really weird. Uh, it just, I've fallen, I want to say, I've, fa I've fallen off things that would have killed Geralt in this, that I'm barely, like, injured in this. Weapon broke, weapon broke, weapon broke. I don't have another whetstone. Is it seriously broke? No, no, there's still a 66 durability on it. I can kill this guy. Ba -ba Boom. Boom. Okay, I'm still doing reduced damage, but it's not no damage. It is no damage. Ichi. Well, that's supper. Okay, we leave. We're not going in. Sure as fuck not. Okay. Is there... I'll just walk a little closer. It won't force me in. Just curious if there's anything else to note. But I do know that you have to deal with it. I've seen some spoilers. We have to deal with the blue drake. Two fat officials. And but Bior turns up again. You know, the effectively the um, Onion Bro of the game. To, to be honest, Onion Bro's role has been is kind of split here between the Prince, you have to save him multiple times, and. What is this? Ah! Oh, Onion Bro of the game. Uh, yeah, the, his role 
is split. Is split blah, blah, blah. Onion Bros roll is split between the prince and this guy. The prince you've saved multiple times, and this guy likes sleeping. Um, so there. Mm, it just. You see some character archetypes being carried over from this game to future games. Um. So, it just, again, this guy sleeping and being this hearty warrior type. Um, and this guy needing saving. Initially, when I saw him and all his glowiness, I was wondering, I think, I was wondering if he's going to be some bro -y, but no, uh, he's not so there. There's patches, who's just remained patches for the entire thing. They really fucking love him. I choose to believe it's the same guy throughout all the games. Even when he's a spider. Uh, apparently he's a spider in Bloodborne. Our great king is a magnanimous leader. He's solid, spirited, caring of his subjects. He fought vigilantly against the vile and depraved. The seditious claims that our lord brought their scourge upon us. They are mere fabrications woven by jealous conspirators. I'm certain of it, for there is no other explanation. The prince will disagree. I heard an odd piece of news from a merchant dragling. He claims that the son of the king, Ariona, has come to Bolataria alone. Ariona is a wise and kind soul, almost too kind. He would not be safe in this accursed land without protection. If you find Ariona, do look after him and tell him to return to the Nexus immediately. And that Bjor of the Twin Fangs. We'll look after His Highness. It's actually the worst thing to do. Well, certainly this guy would die here without our assistance. Um, Bjor would just maybe throw in with Demon King. A few a few right words, and he's like, Yes, sire. You know, he's, he's loyal to a fault. My brother in arms. Varifax of the Twin Fangs was a brave and mighty man. Unlike myself. He was the master of more than the sword. Valifax's mind was sharper than most scholars. Dark times have befallen us. If our lord, with the esteemed help of Valifax, could not prevent it, then no one could help. Valifax, apparently, I've seen a bit of spoilers about him. In 1 1, if you have me high enough uh, rep, the gate at start opens. And you'll fight either body form or black phantom invader. Uh, this executioner chick, and she um, apparently there's uh, people believe that she killed Valorfax, as you can find his armor in her jail in the jail behind her. But um, apparently that armor is not exclusive to the these two guys, but it's actually the armor of um, the royal guard. So it could be anyone else. Moreover, Valorfax's unique ring, the one I use here... ...is exclusive to... Um, ...the Twin Fangs. And it specifically mentions... Actually, no, it mentions Bior specifically. Huh. But yeah, it's the wiki was theorizing uh, Valorfax was instead felled by the dragons at their nest. As that is where you get the ring. And Bjor is still here fighting, as he always does, so... Must have lost his ring. Well, that's wasn't their conjecture, that's mine. But, yeah. So, who knows really how he felt, but, yeah, that's one idea, Foden. Oh, you've seen the lone stone tower that sprouts forth from the outer wall of Balotario Castle? If only that spineless warden, a young sorceress, is held prisoner there, where she is subject to um, all manner of untold acts in the name of purification. Regrettably, I cannot find my way into that tower. How long will those vermin dishonor the king's good name? How long will... So we now know where to find the witch. But perhaps our aid. Oh, you've no need to say. 
Save you again and it's not new. Thank goodness you I was if only I could uh, two chunks of sharp stone, you're heavy. Uh, secret dagger. Uh, it's just like great sword. Oh, it's an extremely Oh, Bjor of the Twin Fangs is known to wield this weapon. Cool. Uh, sleep shield, sleep shield. Dark silver shield, tower shield. Oh, and that drives it down. Fierce's camp. Uh, oh, actually, remember I was saying before with the graphical changes of the game, I, I was thinking I thought they changed the complexion of the minister's face. They do, actually. The ministers in this all have a black face, but in... But they're black. Though, honestly... Maybe it's just their rictus grin making them look really creepy, but in some ways it almost looks like a mask they're wearing. Or, it's not just the complexion, it's like... I don't know, something else. Um... I don't know. It, maybe it's just the graphics, maybe it's just the graphics, but every time they give a close-up of what those ministers look like, I know, it ends up looking like they're wearing a mask, or something's been done to their face, rather than just merely being, you know, them being black. Oh my god, I just can't be happy trying to make a point. I just keep feeling it sounds ro stupid or wrong or something, but... There's like two points I'm trying to make, and it's the second one that always sounds wrong. Maybe I'll just say fuck it and say it. Leave it up to future me to delete it. It's gonna be a while before I get to it. Maybe future me can listen to it with a, a clearer ear. That often happens. Or if he isn't happy with it, then he can delete it. Or re-record it. I'll do that. So, uh, what's making me... What I'm trying to say here is the point... The first point, the one I'm fine with, is... Uh, in the remake, race bent the fat ministers. In this, they're black. In the remake, they're white. Here, in the, as far as I remember, they do have a heavy. Uh, they're fat guys. They do have a fat head. But in the remake, they they have huge like fat folds on their heads with a huge cluster of boils on one side, and they look like they're so, uh, uh, someone out of Rapture. It's completely different to the fat ministers here that have, honestly, look like they're wearing a mask. Like, I know, it's just something about their head. Just, like, you look at the characters here and it seems like a normal head on a character. But something about whatever way the ministers look, maybe it's just a mocking fucking grin permanently stuck to their face. Like, it's just like... You you know you, you break out a model and you stick like you put a sticker on a character on it, and so it's constantly having a, a particular expression on because it's a fucking sticker. Maybe it's like that with the ministers. Um, and maybe that's what I'm finding off-putting. But something about their face is off-putting. Like honestly. I wouldn't put it past it being a demon just wearing tanned fucking hide. Like, it's, I know, it always comes out that uh, the, the head they have always ends up looking like a mask to me or something. I think like Black Mask from Batman, you know? Something about it. But then again, my perception of things is kind of shit. Um. You're like, oh, that actor reminds me of so-and-so, and it's just like, yeah, the only similarity is they both have skin. You know, that's it. Okay. Hey, folks. Just making one uh, note here. Um, I, like I was saying, I'm just... Um, I was trying to make two points there. And I wasn't happy uh, with one of them. And so I'm just flagging that I need to check it. Um, 
Mateo and check for messages. Copy this as it's going to be the second one. There we go. So, let's get on with it. So yeah, as I was saying, the in the remake they race bent the fat officials and make them white for some reason. It's weird. I thought we weren't meant to do that. But yeah, they race bent them for some reason. I remember hearing a defense going out saying that the devs claimed that any changes they made was simply to re to represent FromSoft's vision on a more powerful console. It's what FromSoft would have done if they had the more powerful thing, but I don't think the depicting a white character needed a more powerful console. Like, seriously, the guy now looks like he supports Man U, you know? You know, love, love me football, love me fish and chips, love me, uh, fo um, love me footy, love me fish and chips. You know, you know that meme, yeah? He just looks like you, you could just use his face with it. Officials cap. Fat ministers who appeared just before demons ran rampant in Boletaria and integrated themselves at King Arant. Arant. Oppressed masses with sly grins. This had is said to have been resented by the masses as a hateful reminder of them. Increases miracle power and vulnerability time while casting miracles. Vulnerability time. It's said to have once been found by the young Saint Astraea as one of the revelations of God. Deep inside stone the bones. Deep inside the bone. No, oh, he's done a tell me anything. Ooh. Gear needs replacement to a uh, repair of two. Oh yeah, it does, doesn't it? Expensive. Do come b I don't need to run that gauntlet anymore, but I could still do so to for souls and blue drops. 